Hi students, let's uh, start with uh, part 4 of the video for reflection of light. Today the objective is to practice problems on reflection of light. First you have to fill in the blanks. First question is the point at which the incident ray falls on the mirror is called point of incidence. It's called the point of incidence. Second question. If a ray of light is incident on a plane mirror at an angle of 300, its angle of reflection is, so the light is incident on a plane mirror at an angle of 300 degree. By law of reflection, we know that angle of incidence is equivalent to angle of reflection. So the angle of reflection will also be 300. Third question. If a ray of light is incident normally on a mirror, I is equivalent to and R is equivalent to. You have to write the value of angle of incidence and angle of reflection. It says that the light ray is incident normally. When the light ray is incident normally, there is no angle between the normal and the incident ray, the normal and the reflected ray. So that means the angle is going to be zero. So I is equivalent to zero and R is equivalent to zero. The image of our face in a plane mirror is an example of dash image. So this is uh, for the plane mirror. What type of image is formed on a plane mirror? It's a virtual image. So the face that the image of the face that you see in your plane mirror is an example of virtual image. Fifth question: The distance of the image behind the plane mirror is dash to the distance of the object in the front of it. So uh, when we learned the characteristics of the plane image formed in the plane mirror. We said that the image and the object are located at the same distance from the plane mirror. That means the distance of the image behind the plane mirror is equal to the distance of the object in front of it. These are the answers. First answer is point of, point of incidence. Second one 300. Third one i is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0. Fourth one virtual. Fifth one equal. Now going into the next question. Light is incident on a flat surface making an angle of 10 degree with the surface as shown in the figure to the right. What is the angle of incidence? What is the angle of reflection? Sketch the path of the reflected beam on the diagram. So you have a light ray which is an uh, incident on a plane mirror and uh, it, it hits the surface at an angle 10 degree. You are asked to find I. So first we will complete the ray diagram. Before that you know this whole angle is 90 degree. So what will be the angle of incidence? Angle of incidence will be 90 minus 10 that is 80 degree. So you got I the angle of incidence as 80 degree. By law of reflection I is equivalent to R. So R will also be 80 degree. So now I can draw the reflected ray. This is a reflected ray making an angle 80 degree.
okay so this is also 80 degree and this is also 80 degree that's the answer so the answer is clearly given here for path A, if the light makes an angle of uh, 10 degree with the surface, it makes an angle of 80 degree with the normal to the surface. Therefore, the angle of incidence is 80 degree. Part B, to find angle of reflection. Uh, according to the law of reflection, the angle of reflection is equivalent to the angle of incidence. So, the angle of reflection is 80 degree. Third one, a path C, the path of light is shown in the figure. Coming to the next question, figure shows two rays of light point from, uh, from a point P on an object O. These rays are incident on a plane mirror. Continue the path of the two rays after they reach the mirror. Hence, locate the image of the object O. So, this is, uh, this is the object and two light rays are falling onto the plane mirror you are asked to find the or you are asked to locate the image so we already have learned the steps for finding the image so first you have two ray diagrams so i'm going to draw the reflected ray so for here this is a normal and for this ray this is a normal and the reflected ray will be the reflected ray will be bouncing off from this particular point and from this particular point for this ray so this is a reflected ray. After drawing the reflected ray, you have to extend the reflected ray to the other side with, with dotted lines. And the point where the dotted lines meet is a point and this is the image. So this is the answer. You have the incident ray and the reflected ray for each incident ray. It is extended to form the image. Now coming to the next question. A woman is standing in front of the plane mirror at a distance of 3 meter away from the mirror. Having a height of 1.5 meter. So, the object is having a height of 1.5 meter and the distance is 3 meter. This is for the object. So, we know for the image, find the height of the image. So, we know height of the object is equivalent to height of the image. So, height of the image will be 1.5 meter find the distance at which the image is formed we know distance of the object is equivalent to distance of the image that is distance of the image is equivalent to 3 meters hope that is clear thank you